Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about clamper circuit. These are the points covered in this tutorial. Clapping network is an electronic circuit that will clap a signal to different DC level. It consists of a capacitor, a diode, and resistor element, but it can also employ an independent DC supply to introduce additional shift. Basically, clamper is an electronic circuit that changes the DC level of a signal to the desired level without changing the shape of the applied signal. In other words, the clamper circuit moves the whole signal up or down to set either positive peak or negative peak of the signal at a desired level. If the circuit pushes the signal upward, then the circuit is called positive clamper. Here the negative peak of the signal meets the zero level. The construction of the clamper circuit is same as that of clippers. The only difference is, it contains an extra capacitor. This capacitor provides the DC offset from the store charge. If the circuit pushes the signal downward, then it is called negative clamper. The magnitude of the resistance and capacitance must be chosen such that, the time constant is large enough to ensure the voltage across the capacitor does not change significantly during the interval when the diode is non-conducting. The resistor can be used as a load or parallel combination of the load resistor and the resistor designed to provide the desired level of resistance. Now, let us discuss the working principle of a clamper circuit. During the positive half cycle, that is, from zero to half of the time period. The network will appear as shown in this figure, 17.5, with the diode in on state, or shorting out the effect of the register. The resulting time constant is so small that, the capacitor will charge to V volts very quickly. The resistance, capital R is determined by the internal resistance of the network. During this interval, the voltage becomes zero volt, during the negative half cycle, the input voltage switch to minus V volts, the network becomes as shown in this figure. The diode X as open circuit, and the equivalent of the diode is determined by the applied signal, and stored voltage across the capacitor, both of them pressuring current through the diode from cathode to the anode. Here, the time constant becomes sufficiently large to establish a discharge period of five times the time constant, which is much larger than the negative half period. Therefore applying KVL, we get output voltage equal to minus twice V. The output waveform becomes like this. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.